as tensions rise between the U.S. and North Korea, how prepared is Hawaii in the event of a nuclear attack? That question came up during the White House press briefing yesterday. There are military contingency plans for almost every scenario. I think the president's made clear we're, we're, we're aware of um, the activities that they've engaged in um, and we're monitoring them and the national security team continues to, to keep them up to date. Denny Roy is a senior fellow at the East West Center and here's what he thinks. I don't have any doubt that uh, the North Koreans are aware that if they use a nuclear weapon in anger that it would mean the extinction of the regime and, and indeed of North Korea as a separate country. Having said that, I have to emphasize that, that there, there's no good reason for the North Koreans to actually use their nuclear weapons since it would be suicidal. Joining me now to discuss is Hawaii State Representative Matthew Lepresti. Uh, thanks for being here, sir. So can you tell me what is it exactly that you're trying to do to prepare for uh, this type of event? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, this resolution that we've introduced simply asks the state to prepare. Um, no one's running around here with their saying the sky is falling or anything like that. Uh, but it's simply about updating our plans. The latest uh, shelter plan that we have is from 1985. I was 11 years old, uh, a kid during the Cold War. Um, when we heard that some experts were saying that North Korea has or may soon have uh, nuclear strike capability, we began to ask, where are those shelters again? Um, they're not identified much anymore. They're certainly not stocked. And our population has shifted dramatically. So we need to prepare. It's so the let's go of through some of the things ready. that you're proposing in this legislation. Again, plans haven't been updated since 1985, as you mentioned. Uh, one, the Hawaii uh, Department of Defense, uh, you're asking, uh, to update its disaster preparedness plans, identify locations, as you just mentioned, for usable fallout mm -hmm. shelters, upgrade outdated fallout shelters, update shelter signage, markings, provisions, public awareness. Also developing state lands that it would accommodate mass storage infrastructure for shipping containers, as well as identify right. ports outside of the island uh, that may be used in the case that ports are disabled in the event of a disaster. Yeah, but this isn't simply about nuclear fallout or nuclear strikes. Hawaii, as an island state, is in the middle of the largest ocean on the planet, as you know. And so we're always looking at disaster preparedness, and that includes hurricanes, tsunamis, uh, and with 11 military bases and U.S. Pacific Command here, we naturally have to think that we're a strategic and symbolic target, and we need to be prepared for those sorts of things. So in the event of natural disaster, part of this resolution asks uh, us to look at having a long-term alternate harbor instead of Honolulu Harbor. Um, that, that's Representative, one what sort of response are you getting to these requests? A lot of people are grateful that people in government are actually taking this seriously enough to prepare. Um, some people suggest that, you know, if there's a nuclear strike, then the game's over. But it's not that simple. You know, the 15 to 20 kiloton uh, kind of warhead that the North Koreans may now or may in the near future be able to put on an ICBM is much smaller than the kind of uh, megaton that say Russia or China might be able to use. So we're looking at a two to three mile radius, blast radius, and that means hundreds of thousands of survivors. Uh, it's our burden in government to prepare for worst case scenarios, however unlikely. What, uh, what do you hear from residents there as you're looking to increase this preparedness level, uh, take these precautions against the worst? Uh, is this sort of raising fears of the threats that we see coming from there? No, I think people have a mature understanding of, of what the reality is. We have an unstable dictator in North Korea. We have an unpredictable president with a new foreign policy. Mm -hmm. You combine these things and people worry, naturally. Um, I, I think people are a little confused about the difference between bomb, sh bomb shelters versus fallout shelters. Uh, there are no civilian bomb shelters that I know of. Um, Sean Spicer had mentioned that the military has contingency plans. I'm sure they do. But the civilian plans, like I said, haven't been updated since 1985. Mm. So people, I think, appreciate the fact that we really do need to take this seriously because if it's not now, at least at some point, we need to have a plan. Um, if we don't, then we fail the people. All right. Well, you're trying to do your part. Thanks for joining us. Mahalo. Thank you.